PowerStore is the next generation mid-range platform from Dell EMC. We have packed a lot of innovation into PowerStore and provide several different ways to manage your PowerStore platform with command line interface controls, RESTful API scripting, and full web user interface management through the PowerStore Manager. In this video, we will focus on some of the management, monitoring, and reporting capabilities that the PowerStore Manager provides. Let me take you on a brief ride across the interface as we highlight some of the key features and capabilities. We start here with a dashboard view of the entire PowerStore cluster. The Overview tab gives a quick, concise look at the state of the cluster, including the number of appliances, block and file resource objects, and system alerts. From here, we are able to quickly diagnose the severity of the alerts, the type and timestamp, followed by a drill down to further help triage and remediate system issues quickly through recommended repair flows. We are also able to add important system objects like volumes, volume groups, virtual machines, VVOLs, and file systems to a customized watch list to proactively track the capacity and performance of these resources. Moving to the Capacity tab within the dashboard, we can quickly assess how much capacity is left in the cluster by viewing the amount of time until full. Taking advantage of automatic inline data compression deduplication is just one of the many integrated pieces that the PowerStore architecture provides. In the data savings graph, we highlight the data reduction savings from this, along with the snapshot savings, thin provisioning savings, and the overall cluster efficiency ratio. And in order to stay on top of capacity usage, we have a top consumers view of the logical used and provisioned capacities automatically collected for your volumes, volume groups, virtual machines, appliances, and file systems. The performance tab within the dashboard highlights the overall cluster performance for metrics like bandwidth, IOPS, latency, and IO size, and for various windows in time, including hourly, monthly, or as far back as two years with customized zooming granularity. The performance chart also allows you to track and align data points across metrics for a point in time view, which helps to quickly tie together events that may be or have contributed to spiking performances during high latency windows, as an example. Now the provisioning of storage is a standard but very important aspect of any storage platform. And with PowerStore, it's quick, straightforward, and flexible. But before I walk through that, I want to highlight another important piece to this platform, which is the integrated storage protection. Through protection policies, we can customize the exact set of snapshot and replication rules under one policy that can be used for all of your important resources and applied automatically for protection peace of mind. Here, we'll create a demo protection policy. With a daily snapshot rule that was set up previously, on a weekly basis with retention of three days and I'll create a gold replication rule that will replicate to a remote cluster we have set up with a recovery point objective of one hour. With that we created the demo protection policy. Refresh here. Now let's go back to our storage menu and create and provision some volumes using this protection policy. Note, we have the ability to not only provision volumes, but also storage containers, serve up file systems, and create volume groups. These volume groups are logical containers for a single point of data protection management for right order consistency groups or to monitor metrics for related resources. 
Volume groups can be used for development applications, user applications, and user storage resources, just to name a few. For now, I'll provision up five volumes. Ten gig in size. Put those in the a, a previously created volume group. Use our protection policy that we set up earlier. And now we have create, created those volumes uh, under the volume group with the demo protection policy. Let me highlight a few more capabilities as we finish up this PowerStore Manager UI overview. In addition to PowerStore's ability to move and migrate volumes and VVOLs between appliances within the same cluster, we also have the ability to import volumes from your remote, secondary, external storage. Here's where we set up and view the remote storage systems and the associated hosts for seamless migration of your external storage into PowerStore. A quick view of the hardware menu gives you component insight into the appliances, enclosures, drives, and ports for all of your lower level performance capacity alerts and port link status for detailed troubleshooting. Lastly, a quick flyby of the settings section highlights where you can upgrade your cluster software, manage your server and client certificates, review system audit logs, configure and manage network IPs, enable and connect to Cloud IQ, view all of your general support materials, and manage all of your user accounts to highlight a few things. In conclusion, I hope you have been able to see and understand just how some of the key values and functionality of the PowerStore Manager may bring to your environment. We will be highlighting many other areas of functionality with greater detail in subsequent videos. Thank you for your time.